camped, around which all their tents per tribe were placed. During their journey in the wilderness, what was placed at the center of the Israelite camp, around which all their tents per tribe were placed? Question number 13. Give the full reference for the verse. Find the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to everyone that asketh of you of the reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Give the full reference for the verse. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to everyone that asketh of you the reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Question number 14. In the Exodus narrative, apart from for apart from that which was during the feast of, during the Passover, what was also the type of the blood of Christ? In the Exodus narrative, what was the type of the blood of Christ? Apart from that which we find during the Passover. In the Exodus narrative, what was the type of the blood of Christ? Apart from that which we find in the Passover. Question number 15. Which among the sons of Jacob did not have any land inheritance? Levi. Levi. Which among the sons of Jacob did not have any land inheritance? In biblical typology, in the Exodus narrative, what nation was the symbol of the world? In biblical typology, in the Exodus narrative, what nation was the symbol of the world? Question number 17. What incident caused the forfeiture of Moses' chance to enter the promised land? Striking the rock twice. What incident caused the forfeiture of Moses' chance to enter the promised land? Question number 18. The meekest man on earth was Moses. Moses. <laughs> In what book do we find this description? Just the book. In what book do we find the description of Moses as the man that was most meek above any man on earth? Leviticus. Question number 19. <laughs> How many people believed the preaching of Noah? None. How many people None. believed the preaching of Noah? Question number 20. Which part of Jacob's body did the Lord touch? To remind him of God's promise to bless him after his wrestling. Which part of Jacob's body did the Lord touch to remind him of God's promise to bless him after their wrestling? Touch his thigh. Question number 21. Who were mentioned in 1 Samuel 12? As the two false gods in the land of Canaan. In 1 Samuel chapter 12, who were mentioned as the two false gods of the people of Canaan? Question number 22. Who accompanied Moses? And served as his spokesman in facing Pharaoh. 
who accompanied Moses and served as his spokesman when they faced Pharaoh. Question number 23. From what calamity and how long was this calamity where Jacob's household was spared because Joseph correctly interpreted the dream of Pharaoh? From what calamity was Jacob's household and how long was this calamity spared because Joseph correctly interpreted the dream of Pharaoh. Question number 24. What is the correct term for the religion of the people during the time of Abraham? What is the correct term given for the religion of the people during the time of Abraham? And question number 25. Give the full reference for the verse. Because when they knew God, they did not glorify God. Give the full reference for the verse. Because when they knew God, they did they glorified not glorify him, God. Not as God. Neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Okay. Oh. Oh, simulan natin ang una. Exchange oh. papers with your cheat mates. Oh. Ah. Corrected by Ah. Yan sa corrected by ah. Oh. Ako sa sagot ko alam ko. Okay. Oh, first question. Who was the replacement son for Abel? Seth. Seth. Number two. What Seth, was ah uh, S E T H ah uh, pag S E T wrong spelling wrong wrong spelling wrong po. wrong spelling wrong ah uh. S E T H. Next question. Who was the what was the former name of Abraham? Abraham. Abraham. Minus the H and the A. Abram. Question number three. Give the full reference for the verse. Study to show thyself approved unto God. 2 Timothy 2.15 2 <laughs> Timothy 2.15 ha? Pag first, mali. 2 Timothy ha? Pagkulang po, mali. Pagkulang, mali. 2 Timothy 2.15 Question number four. What was the name of Abraham's home country? Ur of the Chaldees. Completo. Ur of the Chaldees. Hindi po tinawag na Mesopotamia sa Bible. So it should be Ur as the Bible calls it. Ur of the Chaldees. Hindi po pwede yung Ur lang, Pastor. Diba? It should be complete. Ur, Ur of the Chaldees. Yun ang sagot. Any answer no more wrong? Answer. Huh? Ur of the Chaldees. Of the Chaldees. Okay. Question number five. How many children were born to Jacob? Thirteen. Twelve plus isang babae. Thirteen. 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 <laughs> children ang tanong po, hindi po sons. Huh? Okay. Next. Who is also known as the Mighty Hunter? Nimrod. Nimrod. Question number seven. Give the names of the three sons of Noah. Ham. Ham. Japheth. Japheth. And what? Shem. Hindi po Shem, ha? Shem. Yan. Tatlo po dapat. Hindi po, dapat tatlo. Pagkulang. Tatlo dapat. Pagkulang. Mali po. Tat tatlong check yan, tatlong check. Sa mga nagtatanong po ng spelling ng Japet, ibibigay ko po. Ito po ang spelling. J-A-P-H-E-T-H. 
Jafes. Oh, ang basa. Question number eight. In biblical typology, what place or land is the type of the victorious Christian life? Canaan. Canaan. Pag promise lang daw po, pastor. Nope. It should be Canaan. Specific. Question number nine. Who said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good? Sabi niya, Joseph. Joseph. Sabi naman ang ganyan, pastor. Dali, dali. Dali ng question. Apo. Ihirapan po natin. Elementary. Question number 10. From what tribe did King Saul come from? Benjamin. Benjamin. Question number 11. Question number 11. Who was the priest under which Samuel served? Eli. E-L-I. Magkamali pa kayo. Huwag nakamali pa kayo dyan. Anta ka nyo na. <laughs> Question number 12. In the wilderness, what was placed at the very center of the Israelite? Huwag nakamali pa kayo dyan. Anta ka nyo na. <laughs> Question number 12. In the wilderness, what was placed at the very center of the Israelite camp? The tabernacle. Around which all the tents per tribe were placed. Give the full reference for the verse. Question number 13. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. 1 Peter 3.15. 1 Peter 3.15. 1 Peter 3.15. Question number 14. In the Exodus narrative in biblical typology, what was the type of the blood of Christ? The Red Sea. The Red Sea. Tama po. Question number 15. Which among the sons of Jacob did not have any land inheritance? Levi. Levi. Oh, Levi. Tama. Tama, the Levites. Or Levi. Question number 16. In biblical typology, in the Exodus narrative, what country was the symbol of the world? Egypt. Ayan. Question number 17. What incident caused the forfeiture of Moses' chance to enter the promised land? He stroked the rock twice. He stroked the rock twice. Question number 18. In what book do we find the description of Moses as the meekest man on earth? Numbers. Numbers. The book of Numbers. Question number 19. How many people believe the preaching of Noah? Seven. Seven. Siya yung pang eight. Trick. Question number 20. Which part of Jacob's body did the Lord touch to remind him of God's promise to bless him after the wrestling? The thigh. The thigh. Or the hal. Spelling is spelling. Spelling ng sai. T H I G H. May diferensya pa to ha. T H I G H. Yan. The sai or the halo of his sai. Yan. Okay. Question number twenty one. Who are the two false gods of the pagan Canaanites? Baal and Ashtaroth. Baal or Baalim din po pa sa mga. Ha? Baalim. Baalim. Baal, Baalim, and Ashtaroth. Ashtaroth. Spelling. A S H T A R O T H. Ashta. Ashtaroth. Two checks. Two checks. Ha? Two checks po. Two checks. Question number twenty-two. Look at your look at the paper that you're checking. Not the not your paper. No pa kayo. Bira. Bawal yung sa exam ba? Pira kayo. 22. Oh. Who served, who accompanied Moses and served as his spokesman? Aaron. 23. From what calamity and how long were Jacob's household spared because Joseph correctly interpreted the dream of Pharaoh? Drought. Drought or famine. And how long? Seven years. Ay, pag walang seven, kung incomplete. One check. Siyempre, two answers. Two answers. Two answers, yan. So, two answers, so one check each. 
What was the term? Question number 24. De, alam nyo kasi, kapag iba yung drought sa famine, mm, drought. Drought. ang famine, nagutom lang. Pati tubig wala eh. Kaya mali ang famine, dapat drought. Okay, yun. Is nilinaw po. Kung nakalagay sa Bible yung famine, mali ako. Check up. Ah, famine ba nakalagay? Ah, oh, famine. Or what was the term given for the religion of the people during the time of Abraham? Heathenism. Hindi po. The religion na tinatanong eh. Heathenism. Heathenism. Spelling. E-H-H-E-A-T-H. Spelling, spelling. Tama spelling, ha? Heathenism. Hindi heathen. Heathen refers to the people. Heathenism refers to religion. And question number 25, give the full reference for the verse because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Anong book? Romans. One. chapter one? Verse 21. Over. Taka. Number 26. Yon. Balik po ang papel sa mayare. Balik ang papel sa mayare. Number 26. What law? Did the people during Noah's time live? What kind of law? Love conscience. Ano yung batas nila? During Noah's time, before the flood. Shulit mo. Love conscience yata. Shulit eh. Pero nga nag-exam. Balik nga ang papel sa may-ari. Saba? Heathen refers to the people. Heathenism refers to religion. And question number 25, give the full reference for the verse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Anong book? Romans. One. Anong chapter? One. Verse 21. Over. Teka. Number 26. Yun. Balik po ang papel sa mayari. Balik ang papel sa mayari. Number 26. What law did the people during Noah's time live? What kind of law? Ano yung batas nila during Noah's time before the flood? Shulit mo. Shulit eh. Balik nga ang papay sa may-ari. Number 27. 27 pa.
Ito, hindi ko masyadong in-emphasize to. Pero ito. The offering of Cain. Ah, ba't hindi tinanggap? The offering of Cain. What does it teach? Tinuturo ng offering ni Cain. Di ba? Nireject ng Panginoon. Ano tinuturo? It's not the... Oh. It's Cain's paper. Ano yung 26? What, is, what was the law during the time of Noah? The law of conscience. Correct. Oh, tama ako eh. The law of conscience. 27. How many people in estimate came out of Egypt? One million. One million. Parang crusade lang, Pastor. Tama. Yung crusade lang, get kayo, di ba? Tama. Sinabi niya na mas marami yung... Oo. Mix. Mix. About a million. Twenty-eight. What was the main god of Baal, or the image? The golden calf. Golden calf. Huh? What a golden calf! You know, golden calf is not in the Bible. Podcast, but a boy. Pag, pag buhay, indyano yun. 29. Why was Moses the type of Christ? Yeah, why was Moses the type of Christ? He was the deliverer. Deliverer. Yes. Say, the deliverer. Pro Savior. Huh? Huh? Deliverer. Ha? Ha? Sinabi ko? Ang sinabi ko, si Joshua. Ang sinabi ko, si Joshua, is Jesus. Because the name, the name of... Kaya na kalimutan ko yung sinabi ko? O, number 30. What, uh, what does Cain's offering teach? Oh, the, what does Cain's offering teach? Self-righteousness. Good works, open. The, the work of man, the good works. Kusumali. Oh, okay. Ano? Kusumali ako, tama ako lahat. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, bali lumalabas po, 32 items po yan sapagkat meron po na denouble check. Okay, dalawa po yung check doon sa God and then dalawa din po yung check doon sa what calamity and how long. So, po yan sapagkat meron po na denouble check. Okay, dalawa po yung check doon sa God and then dalawa din po yung check doon sa what calamity and how long. So, ibig sabihin, kung lahat correct, 32. Oh, sa'yo yung nakakuha ng 32. Alam po, tinanong, pati pastor ba yung tatlong pangalan? Tag-iisa. Oo, oh, tag-iisa. Tag o, oh, di 34. 34. 34 na po. 34, o. Oh. Sa'yo yung nakakuha ng 34. 33. 33. Hindi. 31. 30 29 Si Ate Donna Donna, isa Ano ba kanya? 28 John Darmirez John Tobias John Tobias Ha? Pastor Robert po, 32 pala Eh, ba't ikaw natataas? Ang bagal po ni John magbilang Ha? Tama ba yan? 32 ka? O, 32 si Robert. Dalawa lang ang bali. Uh, 20, ano ka? 9. Ah? 29. 28, sino? 
Cinder Mires, twenty seven. One, two, Toyota in twenty seven. Rick Malin, Big Santos, RB, and An. An Malin, twenty six. Tayo, tayo. Okay. Uh, Dan Lorenzo, Bong Manalo, and Efren Katapia. 25. 25. Si Jason. Jason. 24. Lourdes Shello. Si ano? Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Preacher Sandy Sarate din po. 22. Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Jem. Si Preacher Sandy Sarate din po. 22. Si Ate Jok Jok. Si Binky. Si Roda. At si Josie Patrigela. Dan Paul. Twenty-one. Johan. Sam. Kau? Sam. Twenty. Yam. You know. Si, you know. Si. Si Anna Glynn. Dol, si. Romy. Si Anna Glynn. Si Dayan. Dayan Dampal. Oh, you you get the no you get the top five ah. Who is your top five? Do you know my top five? Thirty two, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty seven. Oh. Ha? Potayuka. Ayan na po yung yan ang top five. Apo. Top five. Tama po si may typo eh. Kaya. Ah okay. O, tandaan nyo yung top 5, ha? From 32 to... 20... 28. 27. 27. Pasi. O, top 5. Wala pa ka natin. O, hey. Tandaan lang. Tandaan mo, ha? Tandaan mo yung top 5. O, let's go to our lesson. Itong lesson na ito, kung nakikinig kayo sa preaching ko on why do we use the King James Bible, nandun yun. Nandun. And uh, these are more historical rather than biblical. Oo. Okay? Teka nga muna, sino ba nakamemorize itong verse doon sa 1 Samuel? Hindi, nawala ka na yun. Sige na. Ito na nga na. 24. Verse natin dito. Matthew 24, 35. O, tumayo tayo lahat. Matthew 24:35. Mama ya, buku senyurin se Proverbs 22, 20 to 21. Then Psalm 12. Matthew 24:35 says, "Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away." Ay, niwala ba kayo ron? Siyo yung nagsabi nito? Who said this? The Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 22 verses 20 to 21 It says, Have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge that I might 
I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth that thou mightest answer the words of truth that send unto thee. Psalm 1, 2 But his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law that he meditate day and night. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, may you now please teach us, Lord, as we uh, take up the knowledge of why we have the scriptures today. Thank you, Father God, so much for the time we give you us tonight. In Christ we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Okay. You better take care oy, of this because uh, I'm not feeling well and I have a sore throat. First, nothing dito. Matthew 24, 35. Oh, tumayo tayo lahat. Matthew 24, 35. Oh. Mamaya, bubuksan nyo rin sa Proverbs 22, 20 to 21. Then Psalm 1, 2. Matthew 24, 35 says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Ay niwala ba kayo ron? Sino yung nagsabi nito? Who said this? The Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 22, verses 20 to 21. It says, have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge that I might I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth that thou mightest answer the words of truth that send unto thee. Psalm 1, 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law that he meditate day and night. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, may you now please teach us, Lord, as we uh, take up the knowledge of why we have the scriptures today. Thank you, Father God, so much for the time we give you us tonight. In Christ we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Okay. You better take care oy, of this because uh, I'm not feeling well and I have a sore throat. Uh, panalangin niyo ako sapagkat pag may sore throat na ako uh, at may sipot at ubo, ibig sabihin, my immune system is very down. Meron tayong conference next week. Okay? Now, there is a Catholic canon. Ito ang Jewish canon. Oh, okay. Or the divine library, or the standard use to decipher or determine what the scriptures are. The work of more than 40 authors is spanning at least a millennium. <coughs> or 1,000 years. Sino yung mga 40 authors? From Moses to John the Beloved. Oh. 
are just spanning about dito at least a millennium or pwede nating sabihin around 1,500 years. <clears throat> That's the span. in the official canon in the official canon 200 of years the Old Testament the Hebrew scriptures were written the Hebrew scriptures were written Argument, agreement of authoritative books takes several more centuries by the Jewish canon. Ang Jewish canon na ito, ang mga members dyan were actually scribes. Pag sinabing scribes ka sa mga Hudyo, you were the uh, the uh, ones that uh, copied the scriptures. They did not write the scriptures. They copied the scriptures. O ano ba niyo? Oo. Para ma-preserve, uh, in every turn of uh, so many years, they copied the scriptures. Now, in the New Testament, ang git, ang scripture, it refers to the Old Testament. Pag binabagit ang scripture, Okay, for example, in John 5.39, the Lord Jesus Christ was speaking, and sabi ng Panginoong Yesu Cristo, search the scriptures. He was talking to the uh, Jewish people at that time, the Pharisees. Because the Pharisees were the ones in authority as far as the Old Testament is concerned. Especially, the five, five books of Moses. The five books of Moses where the Torah and the Mishnah belong. Alright? Yun yung scriptures na binabanggit ang Panginoon sa Kristo. New Testament New Testament started with the accounts of the life of Jesus Christ. Ano yung mga librong yun? The Gospels. There are only four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the Gospels are dedicated are dedicated to speak of the life of Jesus Christ. Okay? Not any other lives. Yun ang Gospels. We find that, uh, that the four Gospels he spoke of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, a different uh, a different character or side for example like Matthew he spoke of Christ as the king that's why very prominent sa Matthew ang kingdom very prominent sa Matthew ang while Mark spoke of the Lord Jesus Christ as what? The servant. While Luke, he spoke of the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of Man. <clears throat> For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 19.10 While John spoke of Christ as what? the Son of God. <clears throat> okay. 
King John spoke more of Christ as deity and as God more than any other gospel. Magikita mo na if there, are, if there are four sides in a square, di ba? Gospels. <clears throat> that was the starting point of the New Testament. The accounts of Jesus' life and teaching. The record of followers in the book of Acts. This is actually uh, the book of Acts is actually, ano, uh, although sa book of Acts, ang unang-unang binangkit na apostle doon, sino? Si Peter. Ang unang-unang binangkit. Report ng followers in the book of Acts. Which is actually uh, the book of Acts is actually ano uh, although sa book of Acts ang unang unang binangkit na apostle doon sino si Peter ang unang unang binang Anon, yun yung 39 books in the Old Testament. Di ba? Yun yung Testament canon, yun ang 27 books in the New Testament. That's why there are 66 books. Hindi nakasama Apocrypha. Although, nung unang, kaya kinakailangan maging careful tayo rito pag sinabi natin, 
I am faithful to the King James. Ang tanong, anong King James? Pag sinabi mong King James of 1611, tinaniniwala ka sa Apokrypa? Because in the version of 1611, kasama yung Apokrypa. Oo. Di-revise yun. Kasi a lot of uh, translations or versions ha, were revised several times. Oo. Kaya the King James Bible we use is not is not in reality the King James of 1611. O although pareho yung words tinanggal lang yung tinanggal lang yung apokrypha because apokrypha was not considered as part of the New Testament canon. Bakit? Ibig sabihin Hindi ito kasama sa tinatawag nating all scripture is given by inspiration of God. They, they, they are not inspired books. Apokrypha were not considered as inspired books. Ano yung Apokrypha? Tulad ng, tulad ng the book of the Maccabees. Apokrypha yan. The book of Estras. Apokrypha yan. Di ba? And they were not considered as inspired books. Ibig sabihin, even the Jewish the Jewish scribes did not include the Apocrypha in their Bible. Okay. From AD 1000 to 1005, the rift between the Eastern and Western Pope reaches a climax leading to the Great Schism in 1054. The 10th century, ano yun? Yun yung malaking split ng Roman Church. Oo. When the Roman Church began to really uh, spread out the belief, the belief of the papal system, papal system, ibig sabihin, Uh, that the Pope, the Roman, the Roman Bishop is the Pope, and he is the uh, natawag na the Supreme Pontiff of all the Christian churches of the known world during that time. Hindi ito tinanggap ng Eastern churches. Di ba? Okay. Balikan natin, ha? AD, uh, AD 300. In AD 300, particularly 313 AD, Constantine the Great embraced Christianity. Embrace. Not really true. For what? For political purposes. For me, Talagang yung bang naligtas siya, hindi. Nabautismuhan siya, there was even a doubt that he was even baptized. Oh. According to history, it was Constantine's mother that really became a believer. Not Constantine. Doon din sa 300, 80-300 na yan, after Constantine <coughs> embrace Christianity. He convened the Nicene Council. Yun yung nagpatawag ang Roman pastor. Sabagkat nung araw, walang ibang church nung araw di Baptist. Naman naman nyo, Walang protestant nung araw kasi ang protestante nagsimula lang 15th century. Nakanawa nyo ba? 16th century, hello? Nakanawa nyo? Kaya wala pang protestant nung araw, wala pang evangelical nung araw, wala pang Martin Luther nung araw. Oh. So, ang nagpatawag ng meeting, ng tinatawag ng 
Christian, Christian churches, yung pastor ng Roman church, which is the Baptist church in Rome, siyo na simula nun? Si Paul. Si Paul na simula nun. Nanawa niyo? Kaya lahat yung Baptist, tinipon on 400 churches. Tayo nagkaisa, pero yung kanilang pagkakaisa, hindi tula ng ginagawa ko ngayon. Kaya sinasabi ko ron sa mga iba't ibang grupo ng Baptist, tinipong ko sa meeting for the National Baptist Day. Ano sabi ko? This is not another Nicene Council na idideclare ko ang sarili ko. Ha? The Filipino Pontiff. O, naunuhan nyo? Hindi, hindi yun. But this is just recognizing the fact ha, na number one, 120 years na ang Baptist sa Pilipinas. Na number two, ang unang-unang Baptist na nagpunta rito, walang ibang focus kundi evangelism. Nagbago na nga lang. Nagbago na lang. Okay. Pero noon, nung panahong yan, kaya nagpatawag ng Nicene Council, ha, sapagkat iyon, Emperor Constantine, pagkakaisa, oh, sa mind ng emperor, politics. Sa mind ng mga pastor, ewan ko. Okay. So later on, later on, in the 5th century, or the 6th century, I'm not too sure, nakaroon na ng idea na gawin ng Pope ang pastor sa Rome, the Bishop of Rome. Nung araw, buwat pastor nung araw, ang tawag Bishop. Okay. Ako, nangingimi pa rin ako tawaging Bishop. O, hindi Bishop yon, Beloved pastor yon, Hindi Bishop. Kapatid ko lang, nagkasabing Bishop siya. Alright? Ako, nangingibi pa akong gamitin yan. Oh. So, nagkaroon ng rift between 1,000 to 1,500 AD. Between the Eastern and the Western now. Ano yung, ano yung Western? Ang tawag doon, Roman Catholic Church. Ano yung Eastern? Ang tawag doon, Greek Orthodox Church. Lahat yan, Baptist noong araw. Okay. Ang naging leader ng Western Church, Roman Catholic Church, yung Pope. Ang naging leader ng Greek Orthodox Church, ano? Ano? Ah, Archbishop. The Orthodox Archbishop. Ano yan? Gregory? No, it's, it, uh, Gregory is a Pope. Pero na-split na, na yan, ha? Later on, by next week, sabihin ko sa inyo, ay, di ba next week? Next, next week. Ano nangyari ng mga panahon yan? Okay. Ang tawag doon, the Great Eschism. Kasi malaki. Ha? Oo. Ang tawag nung araw doon, yung, 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 Roman Catholic Church nag-stay sa Rome. Yung Greek Orthodox lumipat ng Constantinople, Turkey. Ang modern na yung Constantinople, ano? Istanbul. Ngayon, ang tawag doon, Istanbul. Okay. Kaya maraming Greek Orthodox Sa Eastern Europe, ano yung Eastern Europe? Russia, Slovakia, Croatia, Ukraine, Greece. Marami yan na Greek Orthodox Church. Anong kaibahan nila? Sa mga, may kaibahan ba ng worship? Walang kaibahan. Oh, 
Ang kaibahan lang, number one na kaibahan dyan, ito, yung Roman Catholic Church, kapag ang um, pag-ampo, nagsalita officially, ang tawag, ang tawag ex cathedra, he becomes literally infallible. Okay. Pag ex cathedra, pag official, uh, na tinaas niya yung kanyang baston, official yon. Oh, ang Greek Orthodox, hindi, hindi. Okay, pangalawang pagkakaiba nila, nag-aasawa ang mga pare ng Greek Orthodox. Ang Roman Catholic hindi nag-aasawa. At this time, ang ginagamit na Bible dito at this time, hindi English Bible. Latin Vulgate. Latin Vulgate was translated out out of the first translation. What was the first translation of the Bible? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, ano? Rachel. Septuagint. Septuagint was the first translation na ang Bible from the Old Testament to the Greek to the, you know, was translated to the Greek language. Bakit Septuagint? Kasi pitong po ang nag-translate niyan. Bakit Septuagint? The word Septuagint came from the the origin, the etymology of the Septuagint is Septe. Septe means seven, seventy. Why? Oh, yun ang unang translation. Ano nyo? Later on, ah, siguro mga 700 AD, nung na-establish na ang papal system. Ano yung papal system? Yung kapal book system. Yun ang papal system. Kapal book system. Ha? Ah, ah, doon na nagkaroon ng pangalawang translation. Ano yun? Latin Vulgate. Sino ang leading translator ng Latin Vulgate? Sino? Ha? Ha? Sino? William Shakespeare? Sino? Tin... Hindi ba tayo nakakarating dun eh? Nasa ano pa lang tayo eh? 780 will jump. Babatingin ko ng Bible to eh. Kanig mo na kayo. Si Jerome. Oh. Okay. E di 1500 na. Na 1500, nagkaroon ng Reformation. Sino ang nag-lead ng Reformation sa Germany? Si Martin Luther. Sino ang nag-lead ng Reformation sa Netherlands and Switzerland? Si John Calvin. Uh, alam mo, yung shining light ng, reform ng Reformation, ha? Uh, ano yan? Ah, uh, Let's see. Apat. Martin Luther, John Calvin, John Haas, John Zwingli. Lahat yun, pare. Bakit reformation ang tawag? Kasi hindi sila umalis sa pagkapare. Hindi sila umalis ng Roman Catholic Church. Gusto lang nilang i-reform ang Roman Catholic Church. Ano ba niyo ako? Ba't umalis? Hindi sila umalis. Sila ay pinaalis. Ang tawag doon, excommunicated. Kaya nung umalis sila, ah, si Martin Luther, si Martin, nag-establish ng Lutheran Church. Si John Calvin, ah, nag-establish ng Presbyterian Church. Oh. Si John Haas, ah, Baka magkaiba to. Si John has it congregational church. Oo. Si Zwingli, 
Hindi ko alam, baka nag-swing siya na nag-swing. Oo. Oh. Later on, later na yon, Later na. Ha? Later on ng Anglican, Anglican Church. Sino ang nag- Sino ang nagsibo ng Anglican Church? Si King Henry. O oh, bakit? Kasi, katoliko yung mga king ng England noong araw eh. Eh gustong i-divorce ni King Henry yung asawa niya. Ayaw na Roman Catholic Church. Kaya anong ginawa ni King Henry? May wala eh. Nagtayo ng sarili. Kaya yung Anglican Church was established because of sex. <laughs> because of sex okay mula doon sa Anglican Church later na ito ito 18th century na mula doon sa Anglican Church may nagreform ang pangalan nila si Charles and John Wesley ano ang sinimula ng Charles and John Wesley the Methodist Church so ano nyo Later on na yan. Kinikwento ko lang sa inyo. Yun yung mga reformers. Uh, in 1517, siya ang unang-una. Martin Luther writes his 95 Thesis. William Tyndale was part of that. He was the one that translated the Bible into the English language. Pero hindi niya tinapos. Bakit? Eh, sinunog siya eh. Oh. He was an Englishman. In 1611, the King James Bible was born, which included the Apocrypha. Di-revise yan later on, tinanggal yung Apocrypha. Then, Scripture shared. The Jews and Christians shared many sacred writings, but Jews do not regard the New Testament as a scripture. Yun yung mga Hudyo na ayaw maniwala that Christ is the Messiah. Okay. They did not regard the New Testament as scripture. Pero neither Jews nor Protestants recognize the books of the Apocrypha as a scripture. They did not recognize that. Protestants, Roman Catholics, and the Eastern Orthodox accept the same New Testament canon. They accept that. Okay? Other Orthodox sect may use a slightly different order or selection of books, although the Roman Catholic Church and the Greek Orthodox Church accepted the Apocrypha. Okay. Let us see where the manuscript development. Ano yung mga, ano yung mga manuscripts? Ano yung manuscripts? Yun yung copies. Okay. Copies yun. Ha? Na kinopia ng kinopia. Copies. Ng iba't iba mga translations. Uh, for thousands of years, sacred scriptures was laboriously copied, character by character. <laughs> Bakit character by character? Sapagkat ang language, ang, ang, ang alphabet ng araw, ng Greek alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet, Aramaic alphabet, were not actually letters. They were characters. Okay. I mean, are you familiar with... Are you familiar with languages? You're not? No, you're not. Are you... How many of you here talk, linguist, talk linguistics? Did you take up linguistics? So you're familiar with... Uh, with uh, no. But, but why don't you know that uh, the Greek is character? You don't know. You 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 re recite to me the Greek language. See, you don't know. Hindi ka naglinguist. Kapira ka naman. Oh. Pag naglinguistic ka, memorize mo ang, ang Greek language. Pag naglinguistic ka, memorize mo ang Hebrew language. Ako hindi ako kumuha nun, kaya hindi ko memorize. 
Oke. Okay. Karakter by karakter. Tradition and location influence what materials were used. Pottery jars. Nandrik po ang sa caves. Malapit sa Dead Sea. May have kept several of the ancient scrolls. Scrolls na eh. Intact for centuries. Yun yung tinatawag na Dead Sea Scrolls. Pero yung Dead Sea Scrolls, hindi kompleto yon. Ang kompleto lang Dead Sea Scrolls is the book of Isaiah. Okay. Ngayon, ano yung scroll? Hebrew scriptures were copied onto scrolls of animal skin parchment. Pagkatapos ng papiray. O papiray is the kind of paper they use, eh, di ba? Out of plants. Later on, parchment ang ginamit. Pag sinawag, ang tinawag na parchment, ang unang-unang parchment, animal skin. Animal skin yon. Yung mga sheets were sewn together end to end. Hebrews is read right to left. Synagogues today continue to use handwritten scrolls. O, yun kita mo ha. Hebrew is read right to left. Ang English is read left to right. O, ganun din naman ang ang uh, Arabic. Oh, di ba? Oh. Uh, right to left. Binago ng English. Akala natin, tayo ang tama. Sila pala tama. Di ba? Okay. Yung mga synagogues, ano yung synagogues? Yun yung mga worship place ng mga Hujo. Ang tawag daw, sinagog. May sinagog dito. May sinagog sa Bakati. Okay. Maraming Hujo, especially sa Bel Air and uh, San Miguel Village. May sinagog dyan. Sa sinagog, may bintana ron sa itaas. Ano yung sabi bintana sa taas? It is to wait for the coming of the Messiah. Kaya pag sinagog yan, pagkatapos ng worship, may umakit doon sa taas, bintana, tibitingin, pag dumating na yung Bisaya. You know, yun ang Jewish sinagog. Doon natin kinopya ang New Testament worship sa sinagog. Naunawa nyo? Sa sinagog, hanggang ngayon, there was the traditional. Sa sinagog, they do not read The, the scriptures of the Old Testament nakatulad ito they still read it by scrolls it's still traditional ewan ko kung ganun pa rin ngayon no? baka nagbago ng iba isang gusto ko nga pasukin yung sinagog eh. kaya lang hindi pwede pumasok yung gentile dun oo then we have the early codices or copies. Early Christian texts were written mostly on papyrus and bound into single or multi-choir codices, often with one column of text per page. Hindi mo alam kung gaano kalaki. Pero malaki yun eh. Okay? Then later, codices or copies. Parchment grew more popular in the 4th century. Manuscripts tended to be larger, longer, and starting in the 5th century, ornamented. Ornamented. Kikita nyo, noong tinanslate, ang, uh, noong nagkaroon ng King James Version, mahirap basahin eh, yung unang-unang King James Version. Kasi ornamented eh. Ornamented. Mahirap basahin. Nakakita na ba kayo ng original na King James? Mahirap basahin. Sabi so, na nakakita ng original. King James. Wala. Ang bira ka, linguistics ka, hindi ka nakakita ng ang bira talaga to. Siguro, 
Sa kanong tinuha mo yung subject na yan? Linguistic ang kinuha mo, hindi mo nakita ang original King James. Binubola. Nambabola ito si ano, RB. <laughs> ha? Tinan ko, andyan, andyan ba ba yung aking original King James? Roda? Nasaan? Ha? Boa? Wala, pangito nyo, nanakaw na yun. Oo, oh, ang dami kong librong andyan sa library. Wala na, nanakaw na. So yung nagnakaw, mga pastor. Pag nagustuhan nyo, uy, ganda nito ha. Ang tawag nyo, hiram. Meron akong Bible. Meron akong Bible. That was written a hundred years ago, way back in 1976. Hindi ko na nakita. Hindi ko na nakita. ko yun eh, sa library na UP. Hindi ko rin sa nole. <laughs> Inisip ko, hindi naman ang laki-laki. Ha? Kaya Okay. Then we have number five, digital revelations. Ito, ito na yung modern, di ba? Oh, powerful imaging tools are enabling researchers to see inside scrolls too fragile to unroll and recover text too faint to see, making thousands of legible manuscripts readable again. Digital archaeologists taught Hanneken combined two imaging technologies that detect traces of color and texture to dramatically enhance faded text. If you ever go to Harvard, anak, if you go to Harvard, huh? in Harvard, andun yung, andun yung unang unang kopya ng Bible that was printed from the Gutenberg. Gutenberg Printing Press. Pero, nakalagay na yon sa loob. Hebrews is read right to left. Synagogues today continue to use handwritten scrolls. So, yun kita mo ha. Hebrew is read right to left. Ang English is read left to right. Oh, ganun din naman ang uh, Arabic. Oh, di ba? Oh, uh, right to left. Binago ng English. Akala natin, tayo ang tama. Sila pala yung tama. Di ba? Okay. Yung mga synagogues, ano yung synagogues? Yun yung mga worship place sa mga Hujo. Ang tawag daw, synagogues. May sinagog dito. May sinagog sa Makati. Okay. Maraming hudyo, especially sa Bel Air and uh, San Miguel Village. May sinagog dyan. Sa sinagog, may bintana ron sa itaas. Ano yung sabi bintana sa itaas? It is to wait for the coming of the Messiah. Kaya pag sinagog yan, Pagkatapos ng worship, may umakit doon sa taas, bintana, tibitingin, pag dumating na yung Bisaya. You know, yun ang Jewish synagogue. Doon natin kinopya ang New Testament worship. Sa synagogue. Naunawaan nyo? Sa synagogue, hanggang ngayon, there was the traditional. Sa synagogue, they do not read 
the, the scriptures of the Old Testament. Nakatulad ito. They still read it by scrolls. It's still traditional. Ewan ko kung ganun pa rin ngayon. No? Baka nagbago ng iba. Isang gusto ko nga pasukin yung synagogue. Eh. Kaya lang, hindi pwede pumasok yung Gentile dun. Oh. Then, we have the early codices or copies. Early Christian texts were written mostly on papyrus and bound into single or multi-choir codices, often with one column of text per page. Hindi mo alam kung gaano kalaki, pero malaki yun eh. Okay? Then later, codices or copies. Parchment grew more popular in the 4th century. Manuscripts tended to be larger, longer, and starting in the 5th century, ornamented. Ornamented. Kita nyo, noong tinanslate, ang, uh, noong nagkaroon ng King James Version, mahirap basahin eh, yung unang-unang King James Version. Kasi ornamented eh. Ornamented. Mayroon basahin. Nakakita na ba kayo ng original na King James? Mayroon basahin. So mayroon nakakita ng original? King James. Wala. Ang bira ka, linguistics ka, hindi ka nakakita ng... Ang bira talaga to. Siguro, sin ka nung tinuha mo yung subject na yan. Linguistic ang kinuha mo, hindi mo nakita ang original King James. Binubola. Nambabola ito si ano, RB. <laughs> ah? <laughs> Tinan ko, andyan, andyan ba ba yung aking original? King James? Roda? Nasaan? Ha? Boa? Wala, pangito nyo na. Nakaw na yun. <laughs> oh, ang dami kong librong andyan? sa library, wala na, nanakaw na. So yung nagnakaw, mga pastor. Pag nagustuhan niya, uy, ang ganda nito ah. Ang tawag doon, hiram. Meron akong Bible, meron akong Bible that was written a hundred years ago, way back in 1976. Hindi ko naman nakita. Hindi ko naman nakita. Inaram ko yun eh, sa library na UP. Hindi ko rin saan ulit. <laughs> Inisip ko din naman ang laki-laki. Ha? Kaya na? Okay. Then we have number five, digital revelations. Ito, ito na yung modern, di ba? Oh, powerful imaging tools are enabling researchers to see inside scrolls too fragile to unroll and recover text too faint to see, making thousands of legible manuscripts readable again. Digital archaeologist Todd Haneken combined two imaging technologies that detect traces of color and texture to dramatically enhance Faded text. If you ever go to Harvard, anak, if you go to Harvard, ha? in Harvard, andun yung, andun yung unang-unang kopya ng Bible that was printed from the Guten. Do I have the program of the conference? So na, ano yung program? Mas na-opisina ko? Ha? Okay, we have to make some adjustments. You know why? Ito yan, ha?
We have a problem, a good problem. We do not know where to accommodate all the delegates. So, na is natin na maging handa ang Nova, tagig, tondo, malalapit ito. Naintindihan niyo ako? Handa niyo?